hello friends good evening so in today's video we'll discuss about nifty and bank nifty analysis for the coming two days like i've told you in my last video 14th is an important as to date and can we see some bottoming out formation can we see like market moving up from here uh, that we'll see but what the technicals and the astro and gan techniques are showing let's discuss that first thing is this is bank nifty start and it started falling from somewhere here uh, 6th of March and this was an important astro date uh, like we have discussed uh, let me just show you here yeah so if you see here on 7th we had this mercury helio latitude uh, you know heliocentric latitude of mercury was at extreme and whenever this happens see here it was almost a top from there it came touched that level and fell down it was a perfect bottom and this was again a top and after that we had seen a very rapid fall in the market so this has happened now what is happening now that is more important so first let's go for the technicals so first thing is this is bank nifty it has taken support at the annual gant range in level and uh, last time it took support somewhere here on 17th of october and from there we had a big green candle and from there a good rally in the market can we see the repeat the time will tell 39166 i mean below that will be bearish but till this level is held and more importantly today's high which is around 39768 uh you know if that is breach then we can see a big rally at least till this open which is around uh, 4356 uh, anything is possible in the market be open for all the possibilities but if this level is breached like 39.132 or it closes below 39.166 on an hourly basis then we can see a steep fall all the way towards uh, you know uh, 38.500 and 38,000 this is a bigger view and for bank nifty this is the first time it has closed below its 200 day moving average also uh, which is here so again an important uh, last time it touch this 200 day moving average uh, somewhere in july and from there a big rally came and before that uh, it closed below here for two or three days and then the fall was quite deep quite sharp so and the next important thing is the musical octave this is an important level which i track for swing trades it has again it closed just above it 39.332 was the level it went below it intraday but quickly recovered about it so if this level is if it's not able to breach this level on downside then we can see an upside till 4500 which was last time it took multiple times support here so these are the important levels for swing trader now let's quickly go to nifty also and see what is happening here so nifty if i go for musical octave uh, which is here uh, you know it has to go above 17.326 for this bearishness to get over otherwise the downside till 16.825 is quite open so 17.326 is the first level which we need to watch out for and uh, a moving average front it is below it's all its moving averages if any rally come 376 and triple four these will act as a strong resistance for the market and uh, uh, yeah this is the GAN uh, monthly so it has closed below GAN uh, yearly trend chain level and this is the monthly one so 513 exact made a high here and from there the fall started so 356 any upside if market goes three four days of downside if we see any upside 356 and 444 326 to 356 will be an important zone of resistance over the 17 triple four now what uh, this is as uh, simple technicals now let's go to the astrology so this has happened now what is happening today is uh, you know Venus is at zero degree Venus heliocentric is at zero degree uh, which is ha which happened today now this is an important phenomenon again yeah so if you can see here last time it happened here and from there you can see a blow-off kind of rally happened it happened in around 20th of November four or five days of good rally now this is happening here and before that it happened here whenever this particular event happens this is are all bears rule generally we see a good trending move on the market so I hope I mean if you really want to go long so you know about this level I'll create a trade plan uh, using our intraday ratio calculator I'll just show you but this is the next important thing which you need to observe like today's high and low will be very important till next two days because uh, after uh, you know uh, 16th is again an important as to date uh, so there are multiple as to dates coming around 16 17 so you know this trade is valid for the next two trading sessions only so now let's let me create create a plan out of it 
so this is nifty start now for intraday ratio uh, today's high was 17.225 and low was 16.987 you click OK here and apply this so your plan is very clear if tomorrow I have to go long I'll go long about 17.223 and these are my targets which are basically 17.331462576 and on downside I'll go short below 69.78 and these are the targets which are valid for the next two trading sessions now let's quickly create the plan for bank nifty also Mm -hmm. So this is Bank Nifty. Uh, again, uh, I'll go to intraday ratio. Uh, today's high was uh, 39,768, and the low was 39,132. Okay, and the plan is ready for Bank Nifty also. So about 39,787, I'll be long with these targets 4048, 4398, and below 39,112, I'll be short with these targets. And for Bank Nifty, another thing which has happened today is it has taken a good support around this uh, important, uh, you know, uh, red line, which we generally see. This red line is a very, very crucial for Bank Nifty because let me just reduce yeah last time it touched this level here and from there we had a blow off kind of rally so this is a point which we need to be uh, you know very mindful about uh, you know and this point is somewhere near uh, 39 330 so yeah that's about it so we have a clear cut plan we have all the levels and important as to date also we have seen which has performed quite well in last few trading sessions and let me quickly show you what neural forecast is also showing this is a neural forecast of nifty it suggests like around 15 we can bottom out and we can see a very good rally till 17 then a small dip small dip small dip till 23rd and then a uh, good rally but i mean let's just focus on next two trading sessions only not go deep so yeah so that's about it uh, you know so kindly practice uh, you know prepare the plan see let's see what market has in scope Stay disciplined. Uh, best wishes. Thank you.